What's up guys, I'm back And today I'm going to be doing a review of Thor Love and Thunder I actually seen it Friday night The actual official release day I usually like to see these type of movies on Thursday night But this time I saw it Friday night If I would have went Thursday I would have uh, I would have went ahead and got that hammer But I didn't get a chance to get it at the theater But I did order mine Yo, that shipping is freaking ridiculous Like $15 for the shipping So total I paid $54 for that popcorn hammer But when I get that new house that's going to definitely be in the theater room. Hey, but that's in the future and stuff like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the Thor Love and Thunder review. Um, I actually didn't want to make this video until I seen a comment that I posted on somebody else's review. Uh, shout out to Tyrone Magnus because, you know, usually he'll do a review. Uh, I'll wait till I watch the movie and then watch his to see if I kind of think the same thing. But somebody in the comments, like it wasn't him, it was somebody in the comments. Um, what I posted was, this movie is a top five MC. Uh, MCU movie I was interested all the way Christian Bale played a great villain this was way better than Ragnarok they did a great job somebody in the comments think about it this is not like just some random person talking about a random movie people come to reviews or maybe because they already saw it or maybe because they're fans themselves so this person said then the MCU standard must be underground low or you're underage alright from what I see the bad stuff of people talking about this movie I do not get if you guys don't know, there was what? Thor, Thor Dark World, Thor Ragnarok, and this is the fourth th uh, installment, Thor Love and Thunder. And out of all of those four, well, three three before this one came out, a lot of people said Thor Ragnarok was the best Thor. People say they didn't like the first one. I mean, it was, I like, I watched every single Marvel movie. I watched the non MCU. I, I think the only thing I haven't watched yet is Into the Spider Verse. As a huge Spider-Man fan, I don't know how I haven't watched that, but y'all already know what's up. Uh, so I watched everything MCU. I've seen, I've been following, I've been wa watching all the shows, I've been watching every single thing. If y'all know, Thor Ragnarok was the most successful Thor movie. People enjoyed it; they say it's their favorite. So with that being said, they obviously would take something that was in that movie that worked and put it into this movie. Now, like I said, this is a spoiler, but if y'all seen the trailer, I could guess I could use the characters y'all seen in the trailer. I'm not going to say what happens. I'm going to just use scenes, for example. From what I hear, people have been saying, oh, the movie, there's too many jokes, it's too comedic and stuff like that. But like I said, Thor Ragnarok worked. And real quick, like I said, guys, this is, to me, is my top five. I'll go ahead and mention my top five, and then I'll go ahead and break it down. This movie was great. It was no dull moments to me. I was interested the entire time. They wasn't dragging anything out. And watching the movie, I, I felt like I felt like this is one of like them old movies. You know, when you was excited to see like before Endgame or Infinity War, like stuff like that. It felt like you. It, it was that excited feeling. I came into this movie not thinking it was going to be like just the best. But after I came out, I felt like this is the best movie, maybe, like, one of the second or second best movie of Phase 4, in my opinion. Um, obviously, let me go ahead and tell you my top 10, um, because I actually posted this to this guy. I'm 27 years old, guy. I'm definitely not underage. Um, but yeah, my top five um, MCU movies, to me, is tied with Endgame and Spider-Man No Way Home. Number two is Infinity War. Number three is Civil War. Number four is Thor Love and Thunder. And number five is Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Now, comparing this to Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness without no spoilers, the reason why Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness is lower than this is because Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness should have been literally the best MCU movie that ever came out. This should have blew Endgame out of the water. This movie should have been the best movie. Because if you saw WandaVision, if you saw Loki, if you saw What If, I feel like What If is more of a multiverse of madness than the multiverse of madness movie. Um, I felt like they should have did way more than what they did. And I heard they cut a lot of stuff out, but when it comes to that, why would you cut stuff out? But anyway, so with that being said on multiverse of madness, Thor Love and Thunder, I left the movie theater wanting more but I didn't feel like it needed more like I felt like when I left uh, Dr. Strange most of, most of, Multiverse of Mad is not bad guys it's like a ton of time but uh, I left like I needed more like that was it what the heck 
I enjoyed the movie. That I mean, it's number five on my list of top MCU movies, and Thor is right above it. But it's like that needed more. With this movie, I got what I what I needed, but I wanted more because I was interested in what was going on. Um, people said it was too comedic. I, the whole theater was laughing every single time it was a joke. I didn't think it was overdone. I felt like it was good. And if y'all really think about it, if y'all saw Endgame, if you saw Infinity War, Thor has been through some stuff. Like I said, no spoiler for this movie, but if y'all saw any movie before that, you would know Thor. Like I said, not nothing with this movie. Thor, he has lost his mom. He has lost his dad. To him, he basically lost his brother three times. If you saw Endgame, he lost basically two friends. Um, his home, I don't know if you would call it a planet. His whole, I guess his home got destroyed. Like, think about it. This man has been through everything. And you saw how depressed he was in Endgame. You know, he was he was out of it. He didn't let himself go. He was going through it. Now, he has found himself. You know what I'm saying? If you saw Thor, the first Thor, you realize that he was just arrogant, cocky dude. He didn't know who he was until he really had to be humble. And now it's like the dude realizes who he is and he's comfortable. He can joke about it. Think about it, if you're a guy, like, what you going to be mad for? Like, just think about that. So him joking a lot makes sense because he doesn't take himself too serious. He knows he's powerful now. He knows he can relax. He, he can chill. He, he feels accomplished. He feels like he's good. So for people saying, oh, it should have been serious, when they did do Thor movies, Thor movies that were serious, obviously people didn't like it. He came from one thing and came to another thing. It shows his progression. And that's how I feel about it in real life. If you're going through something and you finally come out of it, why would you want to go back? That's how I feel about it from a real point of view. Christian Bale uh, being a character, I, I can't say you know what he is or what he does, but y'all know he's the gore, the butcher dude. He played his butt off. Every scene that he was in, I was like, oh my gosh. And what was crazy, I expected him to be scary, but it was more of a creepy. Now, if you saw Dr. Shane Money with Madness, Wanda was scary. I was scared. Like, I feel like I can't watch that movie before I go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like some weird stuff will start happening if I watch that movie if I go to, uh, before I go to sleep. But I can watch this film, like, all day. I can turn on before I go to sleep if they ever put it on Disney+. Plus. But every scene was cool. The jokes were funny to me. I liked that I was laughing. Everybody else in the theater was laughing. I felt like I was having a good time. There was no point in this movie I was like, oh my gosh, they dragging this out. I felt like the entire movie was smooth. Some people say I didn't like the pacing, but I get it. All of these characters pretty much in this movie, besides, I guess, Gore the Butcher, haven't had character development before this, so they didn't need to drag it out. That's how I felt like, you know, Jurassic World, the new one kind of did. Like, we already know these characters. Why are you dragging it out? So with this movie, I felt like they jumped straight into the action. You know, they caught us up, let us know what's going on. And this movie was good. Like, the jokes were good. The the action scenes was good. You saw some stuff stuff from, like, Infinity War. You saw some stuff from Ragnar- Ragnarok. And they kind of mixed it in. They, they made this... A great. Uh, this is the first fourth installment for a movie of of a superhero from the MCU, and they did it right. Um, so I'm just wondering how. To, I'm just surprised of how much I like it to see how m- much people don't like it. It's like half and half. It's like it's a good time, and I feel like nowadays a lot of people complain about it a lot, and it's funny. I remember a lot of people liking No Way Home. I told you Spider Man No Way Home is tied with first for Endgame to me. There's literally people that was mad that they enjoyed the movie. They was like, oh yeah, the movie was good, but it was just fan service. Like, why are you complaining that you like the movie? Don't you go to a movie because... You go to a movie because you want to enjoy it. Why are you mad that you enjoyed the movie? I. That's the type of stuff that... That's that toxic stuff that people talk about. You know how... I don't, I don't understand that stuff, man. But to me, like I said, the movie is great. The movie had action. You felt sad. You felt happy. Um, there was serious moments. You know what I'm saying? There were serious emotional moments. But like I said, he knows how powerful he is now. But he doesn't take himself seriously. It's like, I was down. I was out. I was depressed for like four or five years. 
I'm better now. I'm working out. You know what I'm saying? He learned how to make yourself happy, like on some real life stuff. Like you seen his progression. He was depressed. He was down. He was out. Now he's like, you know what? I got this. I'm strong. I'm at peace. Um, everybody believes in me. So why would I need to be serious this whole time? And that's what I took from it. So him not being serious the entire time, even though he was serious when he needed to be, it was like, come on now. If Thor, Thor Ragnarok worked, why wouldn't this one work? And I believe this one was better than Ragnarok. I enjoy Ragnarok. Like I said, I enjoy all those movies. Um, but to me, this is top five of the whole MCU. And this is definitely the best Thor movie. Because how they did it, um, the graphics, like the whole design of the movie was good. The colors. Um, I like the characters. I guess people, one of the main stuff people are mad about, about the woke stuff. I get it, guys. Like I said, I've seen Eternals. I've seen... All this other stuff. Um, I can't mention like the characters, but I, I guess y'all can probably get who the people are. And one of the characters, like that, I'm not going to mention, but it's funny how they did it because that person. I, I can't really explain it, but if y'all if y'all seen the movie, y'all would know who I'm talking about at the end. Okay, and. I just think they did it in a funny way because how that person looks didn't match how the other person looks. So it's like they added that in there. And it's crazy because this movie, it seemed like they mocked it more than they were trying to promote it. Because it was how ridiculous it was. And if y'all seen the trailer, like I said, you would know that Zeus is in this movie. And Zeus, if y'all don't know, if y'all can go back and do your research... This is probably the perfect character to, to talk about this type of stuff. Zeus, in reading through the text, was with men, with women, with animals. This dude was doing everything. Freaking probably the grass, the trees, all kind of stuff. So when it comes to type of it, when it comes to this type of stuff, if y'all was like, "Oh, Zeus wouldn't have been like that," trust me, this dude was like that. If you really read it like that, so. I say that, but obviously it's a kids movie. They didn't show nothing crazy, but I just have to put out put that out there for one of the characters that's like that, because he really was like that. Um, supposedly in whatever you read in the mythology and stuff like that. So there we go. Um, so I just basically wanted to put this out there, like you know, so I'm 27. I'm old enough. I'm not underage. Just because I enjoyed the jokes and because I liked the movie. Like, I don't understand how you can bash somebody for liking something. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You have your own opinion. That's cool. To me, I enjoyed myself the entire time. Every scene was good. Um, I have no negative thing to say except for it would have been cool if they had more, but it didn't need more. I felt like the two post-credit scenes did justice, um, and it made me want more. It just like, okay, cool. They showed this. This is what he did. Um, he's he's a better person now. He has he has a good mindset. Um, some stuff about to go down. Oh shoot, some stuff about to go down. Okay, let me take this serious. And I will say this uh, about a scene. I'm not gonna say the outcome. There's a scene with kids, and people were saying, "Oh my gosh, why is Thor joking around with these kids?" Now, like, so I'm not gonna say the outcome. But guess what, guys? When you're dealing with kids and they're scared. Why would you be like, oh yeah, you guys are gonna die it's over with, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, like why would you why would you make them more scared than what they are? What you're gonna do, you're gonna joke around, you're gonna calm them down, be like, hey kids, you know, it's gonna be alright, it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be this, it's gonna be that. I don't understand why people had a problem with that. I mean, that's normal stuff. Why would you scare kids? Like I felt like at that point in time, that would just make things worse. That was a part of the movie where I was surprised that people was like, oh, no, he shouldn't have, they should have been serious. Like, dude, come on now. Like, <laughs> it's kids, bro. Like, just, just relax. Uh, I feel like some people take these movies to, like, people don't realize that comic books were made to be cheesy. Even though this movie didn't feel cheesy, but people are mad that it came off that way. To me, it didn't come off that way. But, you know, that it was made for that. It was supposed to be made with fun, you know. It's a superhero movie. It's supposed to be exciting. It's supposed to be over the top. And that's exactly what it was. I was able to laugh. I was able to, to tear up a little bit. I was able to get hyped. I, 
think you excited? At the end of this movie, everybody in the theater was clapping. Everybody was excited about the post credit scene. Oh, oh. I didn't see none of that in Multiverse of Madness. Everybody in the credit scene, they was like, are you serious? That's it? We Everybody enjoyed it, but like I said, this movie, we wanted more. That movie, we needed more. So, it's like, it's hard to make people happy nowadays. Uh, but if y'all just come in with an open mind, this would probably be one of y'all, y'all best movies. I know I was kind of all over the place, but it's kind of a rant because it's like, I'm just thinking about it. It's just funny how people like really like, man, oh my gosh, this is this, this is that. Why is this funny? Why is this not funny? Why is he serious? Why, If you're a guy, why would you take yourself so serious? He did that before. Y'all didn't like the movie. Y'all liked Thor Ragnarok. Now he's in the joking. Now he's in the butter mindset. What does he need to be mad about? What does he need to be serious about? Like, he know he got it. He, he know he's strong. Like, there's nothing to worry about. If you get to that point in your life where it's like, you know what? I'm good. I'm straight. Then you should know, like, that you you all right. So, that's that's my take on this movie. Christian Bale, phenomenal. Played great. Jane, um... Wonderful. Everybody in this movie did what they needed to do. Every every person in this movie, the the kids, the uh, every character. If y'all seen the trailer, y'all know who's in it. I'm not saying that there was more people or not more people, but everybody that was involved in this movie did a great job. I think the directors did a great job, and I would definitely I'm gonna definitely buy this movie, um, on in 4K. Because this is this is good. They did a great job with this. So, with that being said, I appreciate y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Maybe I'm tripping, but I don't know. If it works, why would you change it? Y'all let me know, man. So, anyway, see you on the next one. Um, if there's anything that y'all want to know how I felt about, put it in the comments. Like I said, I don't want to spoil nothing. Because I still want people to go see the movie. This is why I'm making this because... A lot of people will hear negativity and be like, well, I'm not going to go see it. I'm going to go see anything that comes out with Marvel, but that doesn't mean I'm going to like it. Like, Morbius, I watched it. It was meh, but I was I watched it because it was Marvel. I'm not saying, oh, yeah, Morbius was the best movie ever. Everybody would kind of agree on that. It was kind of meh. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Venom, the first Venom, it was cool, but I like the second Venom better. People say they like Deadpool, the first one better, but I like the second one better because I like Cable. You see what I'm saying? It's like... Everybody has their own opinion. Um, so, yeah. There you go. Non-MCU movies. I like Logan. You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that. No, Logan is probably the best non-MCU movie they ever came out with. And it's just like people have their own opinion. So, just accept people's opinions. There you go. Um, so, yeah.